<laughs> ah, Mr. Silver. I don't believe I left the door unlocked. I also don't believe I gave security the night off. Do you really think they work for you, Mr. Brinkman? Directly or indirectly, there are few in the Outlands who do not answer to me. Oh, very foreboding. Look, it's past my bedtime, so I'm going to politely ask you to leave at gunpoint. Uh, let me ask you a question. Do you shoot all your problems, Mr. Brinkman? Just the ones who sit in my favorite chair. What have you, okay? I haven't any interest. Out. Of course, Mr. Brinkman, of course. Just one question. How far would you go to protect your son? Threatening my boy is a mistake. You bastard. Oh, is that what I am? It's hard to say I know little of my parents. <laughs> Pull that trigger and your boy dies. You know this. We made a deal. I come out of retirement. You keep my son safe. You will not enjoy renegotiating the terms. <laughs> terms? Renegotiation? No, this is but a casual house call. Or I'll kill your son if you do not cooperate. Now tell me, how far would you go to protect him? You know exactly how far you've seen. Oh, yes, everyone's seen the grand sacrifice you've made on talk shows, magazines, billboards. Very noble, living on your son's dreams. His dreams would get him killed. He's safe, though he may hate me forever. We are kin. You and I. My son hated me. Well, that's hardly a revelation. Anyone who turns on the news knows how Octavio feels about his father. No, no, Octavio's not my... There was someone before him. My joy, my tether to the earth. Oh, please don't tell me Eduardo Silva had a soul once. My boy was sick. I moved the stars to find a cure. Silva Pharmaceuticals was built on this quest. I hurt people. Many people. Whatever it took to save my son, he begged me to stop, to let him go. I would not. And would you believe I found the cure, but too late. My son died hating the man I had become. I am sorry. And Octavio, that cure my esteem, is the greatest medical breakthrough in humanity's long history. And he uses it as a sports supplement. The life he has, the gifts, they should have been my son's. You asked me how far the father would go. And yet you seem to know the answer better than most. So why are you really here? I serve the Outlands as a father to his son. Protecting the people from threats they do not yet see and cannot yet understand. There is no line I will not cross. Call it ruthless. It is. I am. But they are safe. A father's burden is heavy, and I... I wondered. Is it all worth it, August? <laughs> well... Nathaniel may never look at me the way he did when he was a boy. But at least he's alive to hate me, Duada. <laughs> yes. Good. Yes. <laughs> The most powerful man in the Outlands. And you came all this way because you needed someone to talk to. Would it shock you to hear highly paid sycophants do not make for great listeners? And Sherry's. <laughs> I wouldn't want to appear weak to someone like her. Indeed. 
It is nice having an old friend. <laughs> we few. We happy few. Mm. He would make a fine legend, wouldn't he? He's my boy. He already is. Well, <laughs> thank you, Mr. Brinkman. You have given me the resolve for what comes next. What comes next, Tuada? It's Torres, actually. And the future, my friend. The future. <laughs>